Welcome to yet another Black Belly Workout. Today, we're going a bit slow. All right, today's workout, we'll be doing it in sets of 10s and 20s. So 10s and 20s. So I have a single leg on each side for the 20s and 10s together. We're going to start with a, with a warm-up, first of all, and then we'll flow right into it. Okay, so starting at the end of your month. Please ensure that throughout this practice or throughout this um, exercise session, you pull your tummy in to so keep it engaged. How do you keep it engaged? You pull it in such that if somebody tries to punch you here, it's not flabby, all right? So it's, it's kept pulled in from the beginning of your practice to the end. Never let it fall out. Keep it engaged in everything you do. That's the one way you're going to get maximum from today's practice. We're not jumping all over the place. It's very, um, it's like a, like a mindful practice and then we're trying to stretch our entire bodies, all right? Okay, so in here, just inhale with your hands all the way up. We're going to go with a fast pace, uh, like a flow, inhaling, exhaling, falling forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, make sure you keep your tummy pulled in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fall forward. Make sure you're stretching up and over. Lift up, stretch all the way, pull it in. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fall forward. Last one, lift up. And exhale, fall forward. So now we're going to extend our legs out this way. All right. And what we're going to do is we're doing the triangle. But at every point in time, when you're facing this way, your legs point forward. When you face this way, your legs point out to the side. So both legs are facing, you know, the edge here. Now we're pointing forward, reaching, extending, and lifting. Pull your belly button into us your spine. Then you come up, and then you switch. Reach and lift. Come back up, switch, extend, and reach. Make sure you keep your abs pulled in. Come back up, switch, and lift. That's two on each side, we'll do 10 on each side, good. Up, extend. You may feel like you're going to top a little bit, it's perfect. Pull in, up here, and then extend and reach. Three on each side now. Up, extend, and reach. So we're going to go a bit faster now. And up. Make sure you're switching your legs. Four on each side now. So for the next four, we're going to go really fast. So extend, reach. Come back up, extend, and reach. Lift up. Up, stretch, and reach. Keep going. Woo. Are you feeling? Come, reach all the way. Your obliques and your love handles are going to thank you for this. Don't worry. Keep going. Woo. And now for the next two, we're going to go really slow and count to 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. Other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Reach, pull up and in. Four, three, two. Last two. Reaching. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
All right, so the next thing we're going to do is just relax. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do, right, is you're going to go down for a squat and lifting your hands up. So it depends on how low you can go. So you're going down this way, pull in. Your tummy is doing the job, taking you down, up, and come up. That's one. All right, go down and up. That's two. Keep pulling. Down. And up three. You may want to challenge yourself if you've got some weight. That's optional. Okay. Down and up. That's four. Whew. Down and up. Five. Pull your tummy in. Keep going. Down and up. Six. Whew. Keep going. Down and up. Seven. Three more. Whew. Down. Up. Eight, inhale, pull in, exhale, nine, last one, and it's ten, beautiful. So now we're going to go to the bird dog. All right, you may want to use the weight in this one too. So you're yeah, sitting here like tabletop, okay, and you're extending your hand long, and your leg long, and your hand out long. So you're going to come in and out, that's one. Make sure you're inhaling and exhaling, that's two. Inhale, exhale, pull your belly button in and come out, that's four. Keep breathing, five, Woo. six. Breathe, breathe, seven. Eight, inhale, exhale, nine, last one, and hold it for ten, nine, eight. Keep pulling your belly button in, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Now we're going to do it on the other side. So let's go, inhale and exhale. That's one. Make sure you're flexing your feet. Two, inhale, exhale, three, keep going. That's four, five, almost there. Make sure you're breathing, six, inhale, exhale, seven, keep going. Eight, last two, nine, Last one, 10, amazing. I just take child's pose, big toes together, spread your knees wide apart, drop your head heavy, and just take about two to three breaths here. All right, come back to the middle. Next thing we're gonna do is lie down on the mat, okay? So if you have that stasis rectal, you're not allowed to come all the way. Just stay here and lift right and then lower. But if you do not have that stasis rectal, you're allowed to come all the way. Now you can lift off the floor and lower. We're doing 10 of this. Lift up. And that's two, stretching. The entire muscle region, that's three. The lower out. <sighs> that's four. Keep going. That's five. Keep breathing in and out. That's six. Almost there. Seven. By now, you should be sweating. <laughs> Eight. Last two. Nine. And last one is ten. Yeah. And then stretching back two. Relax. Whew. Now coming back and lying down on the mat. Okay, so if you have DR, 
what you're just going to do here is your lift and your lower. Your lift and your lower. Make sure your lower back is sinking into the floor. Every other person, if you do not have that strict type, what you do, sink your lower back into the floor and come here, crunch and extend out. That's one. Come here, extend out. That's two. Crunch, extend out. That's three. Keep going, extending out four. Keep pushing out five. Inhale, exhale, six. Crunch it and seven. Crunch it. Eight. Keep going. Nine. Last one is ten. Switching sides. Crunch and extend. That's one. Keep going. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Seven. Keep going. Woo. Eight. Nine. And the last one is ten. Oh my lord. Okay, so. The next move is going to be leg lifts. But if you have that as a straight tie, what you're just going to do is you're taking one leg up and down and switching up and down. Every other person, just take your hands, you know, underneath. Keep both legs down. And we're lifting and lowering for 10, I know. So you lift up and lower, that's one. Up and lower, two, you're not touching the floor, up. Lower, three, up, lower, four, keep going, up, and lower, five, almost there, six, keep going, lifting and reaching, seven, Whew. eight, last two, nine, and last one is ten. <sighs> Okay, the next thing we're going to do, if you have the arm, all right, what you just need to do is raise one leg up this way, okay? If not, if you do not have the arm, you're raising one leg, flexing this foot, lifting the other, and reaching or pausing for 10, 10, 9, we're going slow, 8, 7, woo, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Oh my little switch sides. Stay with it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and oh. <laughs> one. Oh goodness gracious. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Ooh. Alrighty. For the arm, you can just quickly come here and then lowering down and lifting up, lowering down and lifting up. We're going to do this 10 times. Every other person, you're lying back down. So you're lifting, reaching up, coming up and coming down. That's one. Come back down, lift up, and come, that's two. Woo. Make sure you're pulling up and in. That's three. Scooping up, extending. That's four. Scoop, extend. That's five. Scoop, extend out. That's six. Scooping up. Extend out. Seven. Keep going. Almost there. Eight. 
Nine. Last one. Up. Woo. And ten. Okay. Lie back down. Woo. Now take your right, right leg over and then stretch to the side. Keep your hands open with palms open to your side. And just stretch there. We're going to count for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. So give it a deep stretch here and then you switch sides. Make sure you're breathing. Okay, just keep your hands by your side and just inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. You've done amazing well today, amazingly well today. I want you to begin to imagine your body as an instrument that has the capacity to do whatever it has to do without fail. We just finished exercising. And I want you to see your body as that instrument that when you have to exercise next time, and even push yourself further, you have exactly what it takes. You have the strength, the stamina, the flexibility to really, really push yourself and get whatever you need to do to get it done. So just inhale and exhale. See yourself being capable of eating the right foods. See yourself capable of being hydrated. See yourself being fitter, healthier, and happier on a daily basis. See yourself in your dream body, whatever that goal is. Inhale and exhale. Just bring a smile to your face. And say to yourself every day and in every way, I am fitter healthier and happier. Just keep breathing in and out until you feel ready. And if you do, gently roll to your right side. Inhale and exhale. Then come up to sitting. Bring your hands to your heart center with a smile on your face. And just say, today, my thoughts empower me. My words empower me. And everyone I meet is inspired by me. And just gently bow down and say, peace and blessings. Thank you so much 
was saying, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to have maximum, then you can skip the rest part and then go straight up to the exercise again. And when you're done, you can eventually have a rest. All right. Until then, next time we'll see. Stay fit, pad, and the light. Blowing your kisses. Mwah.